After some serious feedback from the customers and tech forums on Windows 8, Microsoft finally decided to bring back some of its most loved features and added some tweaks to make it a visual treat and more user friendly. The result is Windows 10. It is a free upgrade to selected customers. So now the question is, is it worth upgrading to Windows 10? Is Windows 10 all about visual tweaks and gimmicks? Or is it a serious upgrade from Microsoft to regain its lost legacy? In this video, we have used Dell Inspiron 8 series laptop to demonstrate Windows 10 features. There is no much improvement in the booting process compared to Windows 8. Rather, I felt it takes a bit longer than Windows 8 to boot. I am not sure if I am the only one experiencing this or it's the design itself. To compete with Google Now and Apple Siri, Microsoft launched Cortana who acts like a personal assistant. Of course she requires internet and if you are not in US then you need to download a language pack to make it work. Start menu was removed in Windows 8 and due to feedbacks from customers Microsoft finally brought it back with even more functionalities and tweaks. Now you can drag and drop any apps to the start menu and make them tiles. You can resize them with predefined sizes. You can also resize the entire start menu to explore your options. Finally Microsoft has come up with a more robust and faster browser than Internet Explorer. This new browser is called Edge and it's really impressive. In many instances I found that it is faster than Chrome and Firefox. Yes, you heard it right. As you can see, it is just as fast as Chrome and also page loading is quite faster. You can make notes on the web and this feature has other options as well. You can mark the part of the web page or add text etc. Then you can save it for later reading or share it with your friends. You can pop out the tabs and plug them back in. Zooming in and out is ever easier. You can save your browsed websites and pin them to start menu, which is a very handy option. We can open the websites with IE if required directly from the edge settings. We can change the themes of the browser and apart from this there are other tons of customization options. So in short Microsoft has finally made it. Windows 10 has its advanced store in which you can get almost every app that is compatible with mobile devices. This is really nice as you can install FB, Twitter and shopping apps like Amazon etc. It is also segregated by categories for apps and games 
so you can choose your free apps as per your requirement. Remember that these apps cannot be uninstalled from the Windows Add or Remove programs or Windows Store. You will have to search the app in the start menu and uninstall it from there or go to all settings and select app and features and uninstall it from there. Finally, now with the new command prompt, we can copy and paste using the keyboard shortcuts C and V. Earlier this provision was not there, we had to use the mouse to do that. Music and movie apps are pre-installed and are very simplistic. In music app, you can play the songs with minimal controls without much complicated stuff. However, while playing the songs, it does not let you drag and drop the songs like media players. The movie app is great and simplistic. The interface is very elegant and plays almost all the video formats like VLC player. The seek bar is enhanced and now when you move the seek pointer, you can see the thumbnails of the video at that point. User interface is where the fun begins. Windows 10 brings tons of new enhancements to its interface. Now it's no more just an operating system for PCs. It's all new refreshed user friendly and good looking operating system. It is a combination of mobile and desktop operating systems. Undoubtedly it's a lovely experience working with the Windows 10. I would say this is the best OS that Microsoft has ever released. In Windows 10, you can almost customize everything. From the personalization settings, you can choose the themes, windows colors, etc. From display notification and app settings, you can customize your extended display. You can also choose which apps the notification should be enabled for and even what kind of notification you want. From apps and features, you can uninstall the apps that you downloaded from the store. You can further customize the multitasking features, etc. The all settings option just acts like the classic control panel with refreshed look. However, the old control panel still exists and you can use it with the same shortcuts. When we click on battery, we have battery saving option, brightness and power settings. Action Center acts like the notification panel in mobile devices. We have access to quick settings like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, brightness, etc. We can access all settings from this place. All our email, Facebook or any other notification will show here. Windows Explorer has got new look now. We have quick access in which we can see all the recently opened windows. It has ribbons for view, explorer and sharing settings. You can expand or hide this ribbon. Wi-Fi and network settings have not been changed much. Just that you can now put your laptop in flight mode like mobile devices. Microsoft has put a lot of effort in improving the multitasking feature in Windows 10. Results are just amazing. 
Multitasking is extremely convenient and fun like never before. If we click on the task view option in the taskbar, then it will show all the active windows with their live snapshot. You can easily switch between the windows. You can also go to this option by holding the windows key and tab. If you have multi-touch trackpad like this Dell model, then you can also activate this option by swiping up or left using three fingers. Once you right click on the taskbar, you have many options to arrange your windows. You can cascade the windows, stack them or arrange them side by side. You can also arrange your windows by moving them to the different edges of the screen. It's really very thoughtful option. Now I have more than 10 windows active and running and still the operating system is using the RAM to a very minimalistic level. So the operating system handles the CPU and RAM really well compared to Windows 8. Windows 10 has a very fluid and well-designed touch keyboard which can be used on any PCs. This is more useful if you have a touchscreen laptop or a hybrid tablet. You can either fix it to the bottom part of the screen or make it movable. It will disappear automatically if you use your hardware keyboard. There is another interesting feature if you have connected an extended monitor. Unlike earlier, now you can see the minimized windows and the start button on the extended monitor as well. For wallpaper, if you have selected slideshow and connected the external monitor as an extension, then you can set different wallpapers for both the displays. Old keyboard shortcuts still work. You can open registry, MS config, etc. are still unchanged. Windows 10 is not just about the flashy, bubbly, catchy interface, it also brings some serious advanced security enhancements. User account controls and identity theft protections, information protection, etc. That means the user will have a lot of control over what he wants the world to know and what he wants to keep private. Windows 10 has set higher expectations when it comes to the security. I agree with this point as we can almost restrict any app from accessing our data without our consent. It has inbuilt Windows Defender security. It's disabled for me as I have McAfee security active. Overall, this is the best operating system that Microsoft has ever released, apart from some lags here and there. So if you have got a notification to upgrade Windows, then do it without a second thought. You will have no reasons to be disappointed. Thank you for watching. Please let me know what you think. 
leave your comments below like the video and share it subscribe to my channel for more reviews thank you